Very soon, in the next four hours, we are going to be seeing strong winds move across the valley floor, our mountain areas, and that's going to go till tomorrow early morning at 4 o'clock, where gusts could be easily 40 to 60 miles per hour for areas of Bakersfield, Tehachapi, Lake Isabella, Fraser Park. And strong winds, uh, if you look at where those areas are, it's all the locations highlighted here in the pink, and we're going to see that through tomorrow morning, all of it coming in out of the south. Southeast. That is going to drive temperatures upwards towards the 70s today. Timing of those strong winds later this afternoon, you can see in the pink where we're going to be up to about 50 mile per hour wind speeds throughout those mountain passes into the valley floor is going to be significant. It's not until you see the winds change and shift coming in out of the northwest do we start to see any chances of rain return. And that's when the winds die down, moving on in towards early tomorrow morning and throughout the majority of Friday. Let's talk a little bit about that rainfall. Where is it at right now? The majority of it over in Northern California. And that's where we're going to see the rain today throughout the majority of the day. Influencing it are two things. One to the west is the cold air. Cold air is, creates spotted clouds over in our satellite atmosphere. The second portion of that cold air is tapping into the subtropical jet stream. We're calling that the Pineapple Express because it comes right out of Hawaii, that sub warm tropical moisture. As those two combine, then we get a good chance for seeing snow move into our mountain areas and then influence any chances of precipitation across the county. When does it arrive? Somewhere after 10, 11 o'clock tonight, it makes its way across Kern County and it's going to be very heavy. We're going to look to over a half an inch of rainfall potentially within an hour or two moving in overnight into early tomorrow morning. Then most of Friday will be slight scattered showers into very early Saturday. How much rain do we see? A lot. Up to an inch of rainfall right now forecast for the Bakersfield area. An inch and a quarter for Fraser Park. Taft up to an inch and 16 hundredths. We're looking at significant amounts of rainfall in a matter of 24 to 48 hour period. So high winds gusting up to 60 to 80 miles per hour. Rain after 10 o'clock tonight, and then we'll see snow levels down to about 6,000 feet. What's interesting to know with all of this, you are going to see some pretty significant dangers here. Um, we're going to probably see down tree lines first because of the strong winds. Uh, then late tonight into Friday, mudslides will be a potential for areas where we saw the Wayfire, that wildfire in the Kern River Valley, up to an inch of rainfall for Bakersfield. It's very significant. Now look at the 10 day. Rain in that forecast. Through early Saturday. If you're going to be headed out to the Christmas parade north of the river, Christmas parade in Oildale this weekend, you should be fine. Rain ends Sunday, but another chance Monday afternoon through early Wednesday across the region. Don't forget rain tomorrow, late tonight, early all day tomorrow, windy conditions throughout the day today. I know we need the rainfall. It won't be enough to end the drought, but boy, it's something to at least make a dent into it.